435, ready for engine start. Roger, good engine start time, 1609. The Triton is one of the Navy's newest acquisition programs. It's an unmanned aerial system, or UAS. Navy protection ground, 435, request taxi, runway 6. Currently, our main mission will be the Persistent uh, Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance Mission, or ISR. Mustang, score 35, take off, execute. With its high altitude, its long endurance, and the very good center suite that it has, we're going to provide a, uh, a situational awareness that's unparalleled currently, and uh, I think that's pretty exciting. Tech of flight, we are on track, on mission plan, ready for task execution. Copy flight. All right, crew, let's get ready to look at the operating area. Since it's a UAV, it has the capability to maintain that constant presence worldwide without fatiguing or risking the lives of that human counterpart. Instead of having to land to swap out an air crew or set up an entirely different plane, we can actually just do, we can just bring in a whole set of crew halfway through a mission and have someone else take off from where we we're at. So it keeps us on station a lot longer than it would in a regular manned aircraft. On station, we'll have a core crew, which will consist of the AVO, the tactical coordinator, and then two mission payload operators, or MPOs. The tactical coordinator will work, will work with the uh, MPOs to make sure that our sensors are utilized adequately for the mission. The air vehicle operator is more in charge of the safe conduct of the flight and efficient maneuvering of the flight. TACO, score 35, wings level, ready for EYR on stub. Copy flight. MPO2, let's get radar contact 30 up on ISAR. The incredible thing about Triton is that it's not just the four of you in a station, it's a lot of other people working to support that. So you've got people working to make sure your computers are up and running, and you've got people making sure that the air vehicle is, is maintained properly. And so it's this huge team of people working together to, um, to make this all possible. Tech of flight, we are on track on mission plan. Ready for task execution. Copy flight. So currently how the Navy's doing it, uh, you become a pilot first, a, a normal manned pilot. We, most of us are from the Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Fleet, yeah, so we fly P-8s or P-3s prior to coming, uh, coming here to fly Triton. How they have it set up, uh, Triton pilots, the actual all of Triton air crews, it's a second tour job is what we call it. So you'll, you'll fly it operationally, fly a P-3 or a P-8, and then you'll come here to fly Triton afterwards. What that allows the Navy to do is to bring someone who's already qualified, knows it has the aviation skills to accomplish the mission, as well as uh, most of them are coming straight from the operational environment that Triton's going to be operating in. So they're familiar with the objectives, the mission of that environment and, uh, and that, that uh, area of operations. Departure, score 35 is with you passing 3,200 for 4,500. I think the biggest uh, help getting to Triton was just your fleet experience. Just knowing what's out there, knowing what kind of mission sets we do and how we can do that same mission set with this system. MPO-1, let's get EOIR on that. I'm on it, ma'am. The most interesting part uh, of my job is that, uh, especially coming from a community where primarily I fly onboard aircrafts, it's really different because you are not physically in the aircraft, you are in a building operating while the aircraft is miles and miles away. And because of that, it just feels a bit different and it takes a little bit of time to get used to. Point two is right in the vicinity of the CSM bearing. Mr. Man, doing it by star? Triton and unmanned aviation as a whole is uh, its going to be a large part of the future of aviation. And uh, Triton is one of the newest acquisition projects in the Navy, so if you want to be involved in uh, some of the newest stuff that's going on, some of the most cutting edge technology, yes, and this is where you want to be. You're not putting on a G-suit, you're not strapping up carrying your helmet out like Top Gun, um, so it, it kind of takes a little bit of the glamour out of it, but I think the mission is so important, and I think that this is the future of the Navy. So I think you can still do what you were trained to do as a TACO, um, but you can just do it in a, in a different environment and still um, make an impact on the fleet. Flight TACO, can we go to waypoint 3105 for better eyes on radar contact 25? Copy that. UAVs, uh, they haven't reached their peak or their full potential, and being part of uh, this community as an operator is rewarding, especially when UAVs are the future. Anytime that you can actually 
help develop something that's gonna help the warfighters downrange. It's, it's always a good feeling, like years from now if you see something and you know that you actually had a part in making it happen, it's always just a good feeling to have.